You wanna make a bet? I'm feeling a little crazy, the markets are crazy, everybody's acting nuts. All right, let me try to think of something. Okay, I got it. I bet you 200 polka dot that Ted Cruz is gonna retweet AOC in support in January. Now the odds of this happening are slim to none. I wanna say 100 to one, is that good? Should we shake on it? Okay, wait, <laughs> no wait, I'm getting, I'm getting word. This actually happened, this actually, literally happened. All right, you owe me so much polka dot right now. Now, this can't actually happen right now because there are no prediction markets for crypto. But the coin we're gonna look at today is going to try and solve that problem. You're gonna to wanna to stick around and check it out. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Marsh McDan. This is Adapt Crypto, and I'm I'm pumped as usual about this episode, about this jam. Today we're gonna be looking at Polka Markets. This coin just got announced. It hasn't launched yet or anything, so you are super early. We wanted to tell you about it as soon as the information came out. You're gonna wanna get in the Telegram, get in the Discord, and just sort of be friends with Adapt Crypto because we're, we're keeping track of all this stuff and we'd love to hang out with you. All right, now Polka Markets, DeFi and Polkadot powered prediction markets. Prediction markets are basically all markets. These, this is sort of the oldest form of betting, I would say, as soon as you're a kid, you're hanging out with your kid friend and you're like, hey, I bet you I could hit that that tree with this rock. And then you throw the rock and you try to hit the tree. And usually when you're a kid, I guess, I don't know, you're betting your lunch or, or a snack or something like that. Uh, but predicting what's gonna happen in the future is something really as old as time. If you're really good at predicting stuff, there's no reason why you shouldn't be rewarded for those awesome predictions. The trouble is that uh, prediction markets are highly regulated, especially in America. A lot of uh, sports betting, election uh, predictions that this can only happen in Vegas or in other sort of certified things. There's, it's difficult to be able to do this online, but that's something that this coin is trying to solve. Now there are a couple players in the prediction market, Iowa Electronic Markets. On Predict It, you can also do some predicting. There are some players in this space, but uh, as this article here shows, the market itself is currently at $7.2 billion and is set to grow to 21 billion by 2025. So this is obviously a growth area and something people are interested in interacting with. And obviously with all new crypto projects trying to capture a gigantic untapped market, there are difficulties, but the rewards, if they're able to succeed, are immense. Poker Market's white paper, right? They're talking about the problem. Intersection DeFi and information exchange lies the prediction market, an area where traders can leverage their knowledge of the past, present, and future to forecast specific real world outcomes. Currently, existing prediction markets suffer from key problems such as lack of liquidity in markets, lack of traders, and duplicate or confusing markets. This is true. There are, I've seen this on the fringes, little smaller projects trying to. There was, I remember a coin that was talking about the election and some other sort of smaller things, but it really is sort of fragmented and there's not a lot of consensus about where to go to bet on your predictions. So Poker Markets is developing a platform that will hopefully be so enticing as to uh, bring all of these predictors, these prediction betters onto the same platform together so we can have the liquidity, we can have the betters uh, all on the same spot. Now, obviously, as usual, the bullish thing about polka markets is obviously the polka part that they're using dot this is obviously the future and anybody building on the polka dot platform will be set for the next decade at least and a couple things are very interesting about polka markets right they're not just looking to set up a platform and have you betting they're looking to have this liquidity having DeFi, right staking and yield farming and all those rewards coming to you as well they're what's interesting to me is they're looking at these entertainment features so people could stream and talk with each other about these events directly on the platform and not have to go to some other Telegram chat or some other off-platform thing to do that discussing. They can do it right there on Poker Markets. There's going to be governance tools, a curated event list, right? So it won't just be the Wild West betting on whatever, whoever, whenever. There will be some sort of curation on the platform. And I think, especially in prediction markets, that, that can be helpful because... Really, you can you can predict anything under the sun. 
And so it would be good to focus people's attention on the, the events that are more interesting to more people. Uh, now, as of yet, they obviously don't have the platform set up and aren't, it isn't working quite yet, but they are looking at around 2022 for this all to be set up. And hopefully by that point, people will be predicting to their heart's content. Uh, but they are looking to roll things out quicker. It looks like phase one using Ethereum in 2021 Q1, they will be starting this market. So we will be watching this, uh, this project very closely in Q1 to make sure that they are following up on their promises here in the white paper. So it really does look like they have a nice cross section between DeFi and this betting platform. You will be able to mine Polk for forecasting on Polka markets, mine for providing liquidity, yield farming, all those fun DeFi things we, we know and love these days. And again, yeah, I found this very interesting. Polka markets will have a live streaming integration for in-play markets on esports. So that when you're betting on sports, they will actually be showing you the game and you will be able to chat along and have sort of a virtual event along with that game, which will obviously increase uh, engagement and all those fun things. We can, we can all watch the game together and be excited when your team scores that point that you needed. NFTs, all that other fun stuff. Very low trading fees. Obviously, obviously we're sick of the gas. Just to look at the tokenomics real quick, as with all these gigantic big projects, it is the same sort of story. There are tons and tons of people, the team, the foundation, the marketing, strategic sale, all these people are getting tokens before you. The public sale is only a measly 3%. So you will have to watch this project very closely after launch to make sure nothing too dumptastic is happening. Uh, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but as with all of these giant projects where they are only releasing a small amount to the public, it is a possibility that the price will maybe not go up forever the way you were hoping. But obviously with something this ambitious, you will need a lot of capital for the marketing, for the team, for the project itself. So I can under I can understand that. I can I can I, can, I get that, guys. Do your work. <laughs> Just don't dump on us. That's all I'm saying. And obviously there will be uh, an unlocking schedule. All of this stuff won't get unlocked right away. There will be over the next 18 months, it looks like. This will make sure that the price doesn't fluctuate too heavily as these unlockings go down. But if you really want to trade this thing intensely over this time period, you will have to keep track of this unlocking schedule. Now, the reason why everybody is super pumped about Polka Markets is that Moonrock Capital, which is a very important incubator and sort of project funder here in the blockchain space, they just announced this, right? After great success, they, they they incubated Pokestarter, which has had been absolutely dominating in the space these last couple of months, and Exceed Me, which we did a video on. They, they incubated both of these projects, and they just announced this joint incubation with Morning, Morningstar Ventures to do this Poka market. So this is sort of an unprecedented move by Moonrock Capital and Morningstar Ventures, and it is just extremely bullish for this project, I would say. They, they obviously are putting a lot of effort and thought and time into this project. So very bullish for that. Now, Morningstar Ventures, you may, you may or may not have heard of this thing. It is a, uh, a smaller project, it, uh, not, not to be confused with MorningstarVentures.com. That's a different thing. They really do have this sort of weird, um, it's a very simple website here. Contact us. It looks like they're somehow connected to buy stocks, which seems to be some sort of um, trading platform that I've really never heard of. But um, I guess I guess that's all that's all well and good. Uh, but Moonrock is really sort of the, the heavy hitter in the room. They have been investing in a lot of the major projects from these last couple months, right? Ramp, Dia, Ocean. Man, this list is unstoppable. It looks like they're investing in Killin as well. Mahadao killed it. Spider Dow, Terra Virtua, these are all sort of heavy hitters. Now we just want to look at the team really quick. Let's try to do our due diligence. It looks like a lot of the team members are here out of Portugal, which is interesting. Uh, a lot of tech development going on in Portugal, if you're not aware of that fact. Ricardo Marquez looks like a nice guy. Looks like a nice guy. He's the CEO of Poca Markets and looks like he worked... He was the founder of Hirefox and a software engineer at TopTal. So I just pulled these up real quick. Hirefox does look like a pretty awesome company uh, doing smart recruiting for you. It looks like you can, you can put a team together here and people like IBM, Facebook, and Box are using them. 
does look like a very a very good company that he founded here, Firefox. Looking at top top, a similar project here, hire hire the top three percent of freelance talent. This looks to be like a jobs market, but really for sort of just the heavy hitters. If you want to put together some serious talent, looks again like major companies are using this platform: Airbnb, Bridgestone, Duolingo, Shopify. Looks like you can get right your C sharp developer or product manager. You can put together a team using this website real well. So obviously the CEO, Mr. Ricardo, seems like he knows his way around networking, which seems to be a good plus there. Let's check out Francisco Lorenz. I never know how to say that the little tail on the C. Uh, he is also here on Poca Markets. Looks like he was head of partnerships at B Pro. Let's check out B Pro. Wow. Okay. B Pro looks like a gaming platform build the future of DeFi gaming looks like they got 50 projects using this platform I, I would like to look into this a little closer but this looks to be a sort of blockchain gaming sort of platform looks like we got anchor and exceed me seeing sort of the breadcrumbs again these companies are linking back and circling around to each other but this does look like a very powerful platform that they've developed here uh, he was also here working for Worth, which I, I don't speak Portuguese. I'm sorry about that, but it looks like Worth is like the Home Depot over there in Portugal. And it looks like, what was he doing again? He was the digital marketing and e-business manager for Worth Portugal. So it looks like this dude set this whole website up. This looks like a, obviously a very complicated website to set up an entire sort of e-commerce store on this level. Really sort of impressive things I'm seeing as I click through these people. Obviously some connections to each other. You start to see how they could have started this venture, but these are all very powerful projects that these people have been working on. Long story short, there is a lot of know-how getting brought into this project. Let's pull up the uh, the good old Telegram. We are not seeing 30 or 40,000 members here in the Poco Markets. Telegram, which I think is actually very bullish. We're seeing about 3,000, and I would I would argue that those are actually 3,000 people that are very interested in this project and found their way to the Telegram. That That is a very positive number, I would say, at this stage for this project. And you're seeing just a lot of great engagement. Looks like the admin is reaching out and talking to the people. Again, just bullish sort of stuff I'm seeing left and right. If we check out good old Twitter, it does look like people are already sort of publishing stuff about it, talking about it, getting hyped about it. People just tweeting about it. I don't know about you guys. I, for one, really hope that a project like this takes hold. I think it would be great just in general for crypto and betting as a whole. If we could get off of these sort of more sketchier, smaller sites and really sort of bring everybody together on something with a clean interface, something that has these interesting interactive features like being able to stream video, being able to have a chat and really develop sort of a community on the website as opposed to just sort of sneaking by and, and slipping somebody your, your $20 bill to bet on the game or whatever. I, I really think the market could stand to uh, have something, a shiny interface, basically. Let's see if Poker Markets can do it. Let's watch. I'm going to be watching this project very closely over the coming weeks, months, and uh, obviously for the token launch. Now again, for the token launch, we have no direct info about when the token is launching. We'll obviously try to keep you informed in the Telegram. That's why you gotta get in the Telegram. That's gonna about do it for this gem episode. L let us know in the comments what you think about Poke Markets. If there's any other gems up and coming that you would want us to check out, just leave us a comment. And if you hit that like button, I mean, I'm gonna just be insanely happy, but um, it, it might actually make you happy as well because you know that you're making us happy, you're interacting. I mean, you made it to the end of the video. You might as well hit that that thumbs up button. I mean, anyway, again, I don't want to press you. That's about to do it for this episode. I bet you a certain amount of ETH that you will be here on the next episode. You want to make that bet? Well, I guess we can't yet. Yeah, we got to wait for Poke Markets. Damn it.